Hi guys, so you're doing this Sebastian from Tech Century, and yeah, you can already tell I'm back on the dark side. So I've switched again and now I'm back on Mac OS. So just a few weeks ago I made a video why I switched to Windows two years ago, and now I didn't really plan on switching back to Mac, but Final Cut Pro really doesn't leave me another option because I'm just really familiar with the editing system and I've tried DaVinci Resolve on Windows and even though I could get better hardware for less money, I just didn't feel comfortable with it and I'm much much faster in Final Cut. And then I just saw an offer on eBay Kleinanzeigen, which is kind of like Craigslist in the US, um, where I found this machine, which is a 5K iMac. So today I want to quickly show you my new setup, which is very, very minimalistic. And this is also the main goal of it. I don't want to have any like visible wires or any hubs or anything. So this is just a very basic setup. Now, first off here, you will see the setup that I purchased uh, on eBay Kleinanzeigen. And this is the late 2014 5K iMac with Intel Core i5 processor, 12 gigs of RAM, a uh, one terabyte hard drive and a 128 gigabyte SSD. So this was the one terabyte fusion drive back in 2014. And then I think in 2015, Apple actually reduced the SSD size to only 24 gigabytes, which sucks. But I'm fortunate that this is still a late 2014 machine. So therefore I was actually able when the hard drive was erased to choose that I don't want a fusion drive. So now I have two separate drives, the SSD and the HDD. And therefore I was able to install the operating system as well as also Final Cut on the SSD and it just has amazing performance. Now the SSD of course isn't as fast as if you purchase for example a brand new iMac but still it's amazing and more than enough for me and if I need more SSD space I'll just get one of those uh, tiny USB 3 SSDs from Samsung. Now, in addition to the iMac, I also uh, got in the box, well, there was no box, but in the deal was included uh, the Apple wireless keyboard and also the Magic Mouse 2. So this is the one with the uh, included battery that you have to charge using lightning and by pulling it on the back. So weird, but I mean, it's even better deal. And I paid for this machine, including this keyboard and the mouse, 800 euros. <laughs> so I think that was just a fantastic bargain for a 5k iMac. Now it's basically in pristine condition. I only found one really really small scratch on the front uh, of the metal down here at the left corner but for 800 bucks I certainly won't uh, complain and I'm just very happy. Now this is how I purchased the setup but I already made some uh, minor adjustments and that's just by uh, swapping out the keyboard and also uh, the mouse. Now in terms of mouse, I'll go with the Logitech MX Master, which I purchased when it was brand new for like 130 years and I still have it in my cupboard. So I'm glad to use this mouse again because it's just much more ergonomic than the Apple Magic Mouse. And for the keyboard, I'll use the Logitech K811, which is my favorite Mac keyboard of all time. It's wireless, it's backlit, it even has like a motion sensor so once you approach it the backlight turns on which is fantastic if you're working in the dark and yeah just probably the best keyboard I've ever had and I'm just very very sad that they don't produce it anymore. So this then also wraps up my minimalistic setup. Oh there's also like this aluminum hammer uh, trackpad because on this glossy white uh, desk surface most mice won't really track that well. I think the MX Master actually does, but I still prefer this also just to not get dirt uh, from the bottom of the mouse to this uh, surface of uh, the desk. And in terms of desk, this isn't really a desk. It's kind of like a bar table. So it's also a very good height to just stand in front of the machine, uh, which I definitely prefer and also have some uh, bar chairs as well. So I can sit or stand without raising or lowering the desk itself. And this also kind of wraps up this video. So I just wanted to introduce you guys to this new setup and uh, I'm excited to edit many more videos on this machine. Performs well, not as fast as of course like a 2019 iMac, but for 800 euros you can't really get one of those machines. And the display is just fantastic. And I also love these amazing screen savers here in the back. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know which machine you currently use. 
And I'm excited to hear from you guys and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.